Everything welcomes you to a military weapons channel. Everything smiles with joy at your arrival. Everything wishes for your participation, interaction, and wonderful creativity. The Tupolev 295, NATO reporting name, Bear, is a large, four-engine turboprop-powered strategic bomber and missile platform. First flown in 1952, the 295 entered service with the Soviet Union in 1956 and is expected to serve the Russian Aerospace Forces until at least 2040. A development of the bomber for maritime patrol is designated 2142, while a passenger airliner derivative was called 2114. The aircraft has four Kuznetsov NK-12 engines with contra-rotating propellers. It is the only propeller-powered strategic bomber still in operational use today. The 295 is one of the loudest military aircraft, particularly because the tips of the propeller blades move faster than the speed of sound. Its distinctive swept-back wings are set at an angle of 35 degrees. The 295 is unique as a propeller-driven aircraft with swept wings that has been built in large numbers. Roll, strategic heavy bomber, national origin, Soviet Union, manufacturer, Tupolev, first flight, November 12, 1952, introduction, 1956, status, in service. Primary users, Russian Aerospace Forces, Soviet Air Forces, Soviet Navy, Ukrainian Air Force, produced, 1952 to 1993, number built more than 500. Design and Development The Design Bureau, led by Andrei Tupolev, designed the Soviet Union's first intercontinental bomber, the 1949-285, a scaled-up version of the 24, a Boeing B-29 Superfortress copy. A new requirement was issued to both Tupolev and Myasishchev design bureaus in 1950. The proposed bomber had to have an unrefueled range of 8,000 kilometers, far enough to threaten key targets in the United States. Other goals included the ability to carry an 11,000 kilograms load over the target. Tupolev was faced with selecting a suitable type of power plant. The 24 showed that piston engines were not powerful enough for such a large aircraft. And the AM3 jet engines for the proposed T4 intercontinental jet bomber used too much fuel to give the required range. Turboprop engines were more powerful than piston engines and gave better range than the turbojets available at the time and gave a top speed between the two. Turboprops were also initially selected for the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress to meet its long-range requirement. And for the British long-range transport aircraft, the Saunders Row Princess, the Bristol Brabazon, and the Bristol Britannia. Tupolev proposed a turboprop installation and 295 design with this configuration was officially approved by the government on July 11, 1951. It used four Kuznetsov coupled turboprops, each fitted with two contra-rotating propellers, with four blades each, with a nominal 8,900 kilowatts, 12,000 horsepower, power rating. The engine, advanced for its time, was designed by a German team of ex-Junkers prisoner engineers, under Ferdinand Brandner. The fuselage was conventional, with a mid-mounted wing, with 35 degrees of sweep. An angle which ensured, that the main wing, spar passed through the fuselage, in front of the bomb bay. Retractable tricycle landing gear, was fitted, with all three gear strut units retracting rearwards. With the main gear units, retracting rearwards into extensions, of the inner engine nacelles. The 295i, with two TV2F engines, first flew in November 1952, with test pilot Alexei Perlet at the controls. After six months of test flights, this aircraft suffered a propeller gearbox failure and crashed, killing Perlet. The second aircraft, 295, 2, used four 12,000 ESHP Kuznetsov NK-12 turboprops, which proved more reliable than the coupled 2 TV-2F. 
after a successful flight testing phase, series production of the 295 started in January 1956. For a long time, the 295 was known to U.S. and NATO intelligence as the 220. While this was the original Soviet Air Force designation for the aircraft, by the time it was being supplied to operational units, it was already better known under the 295 designation, used internally by Tupolev, and the 220 designation quickly fell out of use in the USSR. Since the 220 designation was used on many documents acquired by U.S. intelligence agents, the name continued to be used outside the Soviet Union. Initially, the United States Department of Defense evaluated the 295 as having a maximum speed of 640 kilometers per hour. With a range of 12,500 kilometers, these numbers had to be revised upward numerous times. Like its American counterpart, the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress, the 295 has continued to operate in the Russian Air Force. While several subsequent iterations of bomber design have come and gone, Part of the reason for this longevity was its suitability, like the B-52, for modification to different missions. Whereas the 295 was originally intended to drop free-falling nuclear weapons, it was subsequently modified to perform a wide range of roles, such as the deployment of cruise missiles, maritime patrol, 2142, and even civilian airliner, 2114. An AWACS platform. 2126 was developed from the 2114. An icon of the Cold War, the 295 has served not only as a weapons platform, but as a symbol of Soviet and later Russian national prestige. Russia's Air Force has received the first examples of a number of modernized strategic bombers in 295 MSS. Following upgrade work, enhancements have been confined to the bomber's electronic weapons and targeting systems. Modernization of the first batch was completed in March 2020. Specifications General characteristics Crew, 6 to 7 Pilot, co-pilot, flight engineer, communication system operator, navigator, tail gunner plus sometimes another navigator. Length, 46.2 meters, wingspan, 50.1 meter, Height, 12.12 meters. Wing area, 310 square meters. Empty weight, 90,000 kilograms. Gross weight, 171,000 kilograms. Max takeoff weight, 188,000 kilograms. Power plant, 4 Kuznetsov, NK-12 turboprop engines 15,000 picoseconds. Propellers, 8-bladed contra-rotating fully feathering constant speed propellers. Performance Maximum speed, 925 km per hour Cruise speed, 710 km per hour Range, 15,000 km Service ceiling, 13,716 m Rate of climb, 10 m per second Wing loading, 606 kg per square meter Power mass, 0.235 kW per kilogram Armament Guns, 1 or 2 23mm, AM-23 autocannon intel turret, missiles, up to 15,000 kg, including the KH-20, KH-22, and KH-55, KH-101, KH-102, or 8 KH-101 and KH-102 cruise missiles, mounted on underwing pylons. Modernization Currently, ongoing modernization of the Russia's 295 MS bombers is aimed primarily on the aircraft armament, namely adaptation of the new KH-101 and KH-102 stealth cruise missile. The modernization includes installation of four underwing pylons for up to eight KH-101 and KH-102 cruise missiles, as well as adjusting aircraft's main weapons, bay for cruise missiles, of size the KH-101 and KH-102 7.5 meters. Besides, the modernized 295 MS aircraft use radio radar equipment and target acquiring and navigation system based on GLONASS. The first 295 
modernized to carry the KH-101 and KH-102 missiles, was the 295MS Saratov. Rolled out at the Bereave aircraft plant, in Taganrog in early 2015. It was transferred to the Russian Air Force, in March 2015. Since 2015, the serial modernization, is carried out also by the Avia Corps aircraft plant, in Samarit at a rate of three aircraft per year. The first 295, modernized by the Avia Corps, was the 295 MS Dubna, transferred to the Russian Air Force, on November 18, 2015. In the future, 295 MSS, are to be upgraded also with the new Kuznetsov, NK-12 MPM turboprop engines, for increased flight range, combat load and reduced noise, and vibrations. And with the SVP-24 sighting, and computing system, from the Russian company Jfest NT. More complex modernization of the 295 MS-16 bombers, known as 295 MSM, is currently under development, by Tupolev under a contract issued, by the Russian Defense Ministry, on December 23, 2009. This modernization is to include installation, of the new Novella and V1.021 radar. Instead of the current Obser MS, installation of the SOI-021, information display system, and the Meteor NM-2 airborne defense complex. In addition, the aircraft modernized to the MSM variant, will be equipped, with the upgraded Kuznetsov NK-12 MPM turboprop engines. A contract for first modernized aircraft, was signed in February 2018, with first flight scheduled for end of 2019. The first 295 MSM, made its maiden flight on August 22, 2020. Operators. Russia. Russian Aerospace Forces. Russian Air Force, 55 295 MS are in service as of 2020. Ukraine. Ukrainian Air Force, inherited 23-29-295 MS aircraft, after the collapse of the Soviet Union, and subsequently handed 3-295 MS and 581 KH-55 cruise missiles, to Russia as exchange, for gas debt relief in 2000. The remainder were scrapped, under the Nunn-Luger Cooperative Threat Reduction Agreement, led by the U.S. Former Operators Soviet Union. Soviet Air Forces, aircraft were transferred, to Russian and Ukrainian Air Forces, after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Thank you very much for watching the video, like, subscribe and share, we are waiting for your comments to enrich the content, thanks again, and good night.